What's going on everybody? All right, so I just got my Benchmade bug out in the mail. And uh, I did get the green one, the Ranger green. It does have the gray blade. And I went with that for a, for a reason. And the reason is, is I knew I wasn't gonna keep, keep these scales. Uh, to me, these scales seem so cheap. I mean, I know there's gonna be a lot of haters in the comment talk about, you know, their lightweight, blah, 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 blah. In the hand, these feel cheap. It feels like I bought this knife at like Walmart or something. Not knocking Walmart knives, but that's what it feels like. I mean, the, the scales just feel so cheap. So when I ordered a knife, immediately, y'all, some of y'all know what that is, um, I ordered these slate blue G10 scales to go with it. So what we're gonna be doing today, before I even review the knife, before I even do an unboxing of the knife, I'm gonna show y'all how to replace these scales because I think this is a must uh, for these, whether you do titanium, whether you do copper, brass, whatever you wanna do, I hate these scales. So uh, we're gonna be swapping those out today. And really the only thing you'll need is a T6 and a T8. And then a driver. I don't like the driver that actually came with this set. I'm actually using just a cheap driver set. I have better drivers and stuff, but the cheap driver set was actually uh, the quickest one to get to. I'm gonna take all these bits I have on the inside of it out so you don't have to listen to them rattle around all the time. So all right, I'm gonna get the camera turned down. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to disassemble this. Now, the only thing I've heard that the issue on these is getting the pivot back in. I've heard the, they have pretty tight tolerances and it's pretty hard to get those pivots back in sometimes. Hopefully we don't have that issue. Uh, but if we do, we'll just keep struggling until we get in. I may cut the camera if we get to that point and uh, struggle getting it back in. Then once I get it back in, I'll show you how to put it back in, but it's just lining all the washers and everything back up. So hopefully we don't have any major issues to run into like that. But if we do, um, I'll tell you what I had to do to get through it. Okay, as you can see, we're actually on a bench made bug out mat too. Uh, I actually got this mat uh, whenever I ordered this knife. I ordered this knife on, on uh, uh, knife day at Blade HQ and you got a free bug out bench made uh, mat with it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the pocket clip because you gotta be able to access all the bolts anyway. So it just makes sense to me to, uh, to go ahead and remove the pocket clip. So we'll set that to the side. Now I'm gonna start on the side that has the screw for the pivot. Now I'm just gonna remove all the screws, probably the small screws first. And these things are tiny, so be very careful. This knife did not come very centered either. I wanna go ahead and show you that before we get taken apart. It did not come very centered. So hopefully we can remedy that a little bit with these new scales. I don't know if we can or not, but uh, it did not come very centered from the factory. And look how small those little screws are. And like I said, I'm just removing uh, these four screws right here. There's one. Maybe kind of hard to get them out. I know it's unscrewed. does not want to fall out. It'll come out whenever we take out the pivot and lift up on the scale. So next we're just gonna remove the pivot screw and we're gonna hold that bar in on the back side right here, the pivot. Uh, you don't want that to come out at this point. Now the scale should just come right off. May have to take something to kind of punch out that one right there. And there's your scale off. Here is a look at the inside of the knife. This is a brand new knife. It's never cut anything. You can see it is lubed from a uh, bench made. Now your standoffs will stay in because they're screwed from the other side of the knife. So all we have to do now is set the titanium scales back on it like so. 
and put those four screws back in. Don't forget to change your bit. I just really like this color blue. I'm not going to really wrench these down just yet. Just kind of snug them up a little bit. But you can't wrench them down. Now, don't get me wrong there. Because these things are tiny. You're screwing them into small fine threads. Sorry about the background noise. My neighbor's running the backhoe. Right there is what it'll look like. You notice it does do away with the lanyard hole, but right there is what it'll look like when it's done. Now the part that makes me nervous is now we have to remove this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take all four screws out on this side, just like we did the other side, leaving that pivot in for the time being. center screw right there just it's got some loctite on it and maybe i go back and put a little bit of loctite on that um, i'm not putting loctite on anything right now i may put loctite since the other ones did have some loctite on them but not much i'll probably just put these back in with the loctite that was on it and use it if i see anything coming loose then i'll go back and add loctite i may add loctite to the pivot Okay, now to get the pivot out, what we are going to do, and man, I wish this would fit through there, but I don't think it will. We're actually just gonna push it through. Oh, look at that. Man, did I get lucky. My bit actually fit through there perfectly, perfectly. So my pivot will stay in place. If you have a set of these wheeler, uh, these are actually for firearms, but if you have a set of these wheeler uh, bits, they fit through perfect and it will hold that perfectly in place. Oh man, I got lucky. And that just popped right off, of course. Here's the other side of the knife and you can see how perfectly that bit fits through there. Oh, thank goodness. I got lucky there. Pop that other screw out. All right, so we will put this back on like we did the other side like so and i believe there should be i thought yeah there's a flat spot on this and i think it goes to the left i believe is what they said feels like that's right but it isn't wanting to go back through this is the part i was worried about if you turn it yes it goes to the left I can feel it pop in but getting it through let me put some of these screws in and see if that'll actually hold it better and kind of line it up better I don't know we'll go ahead and put these four screws back in I don't think that'll really have anything to do with it. I may actually even need to loosen this side up a little bit so this scale will move. And that could be what's holding it up is this scale won't let it line up. But I wouldn't think that would have anything to do with it, but I am gonna loosen them just a little bit so the scale will move. thing getting that pivot back in which is the worst part okay I want to tell y'all what I found and what will make life easier on you when I was trying to put this in this Omega spring was pushing up on the blade and causing it to not line up so what I did was I pulled down about halfway on the Omega spring 
and it kept all the tension off the blade and the washer and everything, and it popped right in. And you can see right here that it, it opens and everything. I'm not, I don't have the other side in yet, but I just pulled this down, the, la the lock down, about halfway, and it loosened that tension up on the inside, and it popped right in along with lining it up with my bit. I got pretty lucky right there. Now I wanna say, you know, I, I talk about putting Loctite on this, but Benchmade didn't put any Loctite on this at all. So uh, don't know if you really need Loctite on it, but Benchmade didn't put any on it, but I may still do that eventually, uh, put some on it. All we have to do now is I'm not gonna totally tighten that down just yet because I don't have all the other screws snugged up. We just want to make sure the scales are sitting level. The knife is basically perfectly centered right there, but I ain't got anything completely tightened down yet. So we're just going to snug all these down. Same with the other side. Right now we gotta work on the pivot just a little bit and get it set where we want it. Make sure there ain't no blade play. A little bit of blade play right there. Tighten up a little bit. I'm just trying to get the blade play out and still get it where it drop falls. There is a very fine line. I do want to say that when it came, it was extremely tight and uh, it would not drop fall or drop shut. We just take it to the point where it doesn't have any blade play and then back it off just a little bit. That might be the easier way to do it. But you can see right there, I took it too far, it won't drop. So now we just have to back it off just a little bit. Still not enough. Little bit of blade play. There we go. That's a fail. Still not. Plus, this is a brand new knife. It does need to be broken in. So, uh, it probably won't drop shut perfectly every time. But I want to say, after putting these scales on, that knife centered up perfect. I mean, it is, it's perfect. I am much happier with this. It has a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel as cheap as these. It, it, I, all right, you may be different, but sometimes I carry a cold steel four max, which weighs like 11 ounces. A heavy knife doesn't bother me. I actually prefer a little bit heavier knife. So this adding just a little bit of weight to it actually makes this a perfect ADC knife. Now, the only thing I have left to do, of course, is I forgot to put in my pocket clip but we would not forget to do that because we couldn't carry it if we did. So we just need to throw this pocket clip back in here. Make sure I got it tip up like I want it. <laughs> That'd be bad to put the pocket clip back in on the wrong side. One thing I do want to tell you, if you do take your knife apart and change out the scales, Benchmade does say that it voids your warranty, although mine came out better than it did uh, from them. And uh, like I said, that'll eventually break in and, and fall shut. I literally got this knife yesterday and just void the warranty on it. But right here it is. And the reason I went with these slate blue scales, because I think that gray blade actually goes very well with those slate blue scales. Um, I really, really like that look. Um, and these scales are very, very um, good quality scales. I mean, they're rounded off nice, no, no real hot spots, has just enough texturing to get a good grip on the knife, but not enough to really tear up your pocket. Um, I think this really makes this one of the perfect bug outs. 
Uh, if you like titanium, like I said, uh, Flytanium does make uh, titanium scales, brass scales, whatever you want. Uh, but I love this slate blue G10 and that's what I went with. And uh, that's how you change the scales on a uh, Benchmade bug out. And that little trick right there really helped me by pulling that lock down about halfway when I was aligning this uh, pivot up. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.